can happen only in the springtime when it's freezing at night and warm in the daytime. That causes the sap to start flowing through the trees. A lot of sap. We're at Stratford Ecological in Center in Delaware. Wow. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to. That's going to be. We're an educational yeah, farm. Barely even going to lose a little bit there. We like to teach food doesn't necessarily come shrink wrap from Kroger. It's grown on land. There we go. Today we're making maple syrup out here. We make maple syrup because it's an educational process not to get the syrup. We have visitors come out on tours. They'll walk through the woods, uh, see how it works. They might even tap a tree. That's the sap. Comes out one drop at a time. We'll get about 10 gallons, 1,000 or two gallons of sap. It's full, we go put it in that silver tank over there. Add the tube. It goes into the shop. The sap is 2% sugar. Syrup is 67% sugar. So the rest is water. We take that out through an evaporation process. Most of the kids uh, have grown up with log cabin syrup, corn syrup. Ours is typically darker. We, uh, we, we cook it a little longer. Uh, and it's, it's very, very sweet and flavorful. Many of them are, are surprised by that and ask for seconds. 